What's going on? My name is Laura Gachega. I'm an award-winning marketer and I'm also a best-selling author. I literally wrote the book on the small business guide to social media marketing. So today I want to share with you one of our best strategies. So this is literally what I pride myself on, what I'm about to share with you right now. If you have a business, <laughs> like just by watching this video and taking action on what I'm about to share with you, you will most likely double your business in the next three days. So this is what I like to call brand rapid growth advertising, okay? As you can see right here, we have the funnel. And it goes from cold all the way to contextual upsells, right? So there's stages, there's levels, right? If you're in business, you have to be familiar with how sales funnels work. You go from cold to semi-cold, warm, warmer, getting pitch, contextual retargeting, once they've actually purchased, you treat them like a customer and you put them in a sequence to get contextual upsells. This is how we do marketing for our clients. This is how we get 7x ROI because we put everybody through this process. And I'm gonna walk you through this process in just a little bit. So specifically, we use this process, this system with B2B, B2C, consumer packaged goods, um, consumer electronics, SaaS, software as a service, and we've even done it with blockchain, guys. The framework, this framework will work every single time. You just have to put the work in to do it. And what I'm about to share with you, we actually charge a minimum of $10,000 to strategize with our clients, okay? And the reason why I'm gonna give this to you for free today is because you've taken the time out of your day to check us out and I wanna make sure I give you enough value before you book your rapid growth call below. Um, so that you know, complete transparency that I know what I'm talking about and you'll actually benefit from hopping on a call with me. I hope that makes sense. All right, so let's just go straight into brand rapid growth advertising, okay? So you obviously are gonna start off with ice cold audience. Um, so the most effective cold audience pulls right now on Facebook, on Instagram, on any paid traffic of social media is authoritative content. Okay, what does that mean? For example, if someone just did a publication on you, if you just got featured on Forbes, um, Huffington Post, TechCrunch, if your business just got featured on TechCrunch, um, anything that puts you at a pillar as an authority to whatever consumer you're trying to get their attention. Another thing that works perfectly is messenger bot giveaways. Right now we're getting messenger bot leads for an average of like 25 cents, guys. Like it's it's ridiculous how many businesses could implement messenger bots and they're not doing it. It's, it blows my mind. Another thing, for example, would be articles about your specific category. Um, if you're a CPG brand, maybe, maybe some chain just wrote about you, about how awesome you are. So something like that. From cold, we go to semi-cold. So this is when you start running your omnipresent advertising sequence, right? So that's a strategically created sequence that's really, that's really priming and framing the context for future decision making, guys. Okay, this is one thing that I preach to all my clients and potential clients and people I don't even do business with, um, is that you don't want to be the person that's in the middle of the mall asking you to take a survey or asking you to buy a product. Like nobody wants to buy stuff like that anymore. People do love to buy things. People love buying things. They love being consumers, but they don't want to feel like they're being sold to. That's exactly why I've laid out the funnel like this. Okay, I hope that makes sense. You need to make sure that you are positioning them um, for the ask, okay? You can't go straight into the ask. It no longer works like that. Um, I totally respect direct response marketers. I get it, I completely understand. It's just not what works online anymore. Um, your, your CPMs will be too high. You'll, you'll become irrelevant. Like it, it just doesn't make sense for you to do that. Once they're in the warmer section of the funnel, that's the point where you wanna make sure you're commenting um, below the post. Um, you're looking for longer form content, more in depth content. Definitely wanna be using more messenger and getting them into deep messenger sequences to get used to your brand, who you are, what you stand for. And of course, giving them value. And also at this point, you wanna be using testimonials. You wanna be hitting them with testimonials about what people are saying about you and your brand. Once you're in the fifth step of the funnel, which is actually getting pitched, when you're actually going in for the ask, you provide enough value up front to be able to earn the right to ask for them to do something, that's the point where we get to calls to action for offers, lead magnets, webinars, um, and then going deep into messenger bots with direct offers. If people do not take you up on your offers, you're gonna let them know exactly where they're actually stuck in your funnel. And by that I mean like you're literally gonna talk to them and be like, hey, I saw that you didn't take me up on this offer. I was just curious why. I'd love to get your comment below on what's stopping you and whatnot. That is really, really important because that 
that makes them feel humanized. Like you're not treating them as traffic or just numbers, right? This is an actual human being, okay? What we're trying to do, me, the marketer, what we're trying to do is get our clients, our potential clients, and even people we don't even work with to realize that even though it's being done digitally, it's still human to human. It will always be human to human. So please respect people and let them know where they're at in your sales process. And and just be completely transparent because people will appreciate that, I promise you. So once they've already made a purchase, you need to immediately prime them for future upsells because it'll lower your attention rates and increase the usage and show up rates of your product or service. So you have to make sure you treat them like a customer sequence. You have to nurture and respect this person. For example, for example, if they just purchased um, a product and it might be a little difficult to use, retarget them with an ad showing them the tutorial on exactly how to use the product. For example, one of our clients, they had a very difficult consumer electronics product, okay? You needed to honestly read the manual or watch a very in-depth tutorial, okay? We got a lot of bad reviews on the product because people just gave up on using it. So once we started retargeting them with a tutorial, only the people that purchased, it was a game changer. Okay, they, they understood the product better, we got less returns, and we got better reviews, and they loved that they were walked through the process, like handheld through the process. So the final phase is actually contextual upsells. What that means, let me give you an example of a contextual upsell. That's when, for example, let's say you're booking um, a, a flight somewhere, okay? Sometimes there's airlines that really don't have a difference between economy, uh, business, and, and first class, right? Business and economy are usually sometimes the same thing. Maybe they'll give you like seven inches more of leg space, right? Woo, okay. But what they're doing there is figuring out that you're a business person. So based on that specific purchase um, in your actual ticket, they're gonna give you different types of options to stay in different types of hotels, different types of cars, based off that initial purchase. I hope that makes sense. So they're tagging you. They're tagging you as is not like super luxury, but business minded. So your car is gonna be business minded. Your hotel is gonna be business minded. And that's how they keep track of you. I wanna make this completely, completely clear. If they do not accept your offers, make sure you stop advertising offers to them. You're just wasting your own money. So pretty much this is a quick rundown of our brand rapid growth advertising strategies. Below you can check out our case studies, our processes, pretty much literally everything we do. And I hope to talk to you soon once you book your rapid growth call below. Have an amazing day. Later. What are you waiting for? Book your call now. I promise you, you won't regret it. Let's 10x your business.